Oh, how the mighty have fallen! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 reality stars who went to jail. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be taking a look at men and women who share the dubious double distinction of having both appeared on reality TV and been incarcerated at some point. For simplicity's sake, anyone who is brought to jail and booked will be considered. Yeah, going to jail. Caught the whole thing, dude. <laughs> I was saying, like, watch, he's about to get arrested. Number 10, Paris Hilton. Hi, I'm Paris Hilton, and I'm here to tell you why the early 2000s were the hottest years in fashion history. Ah, uh, yes, the original queen of reality TV. Hilton, along with her co-star Nicole Richie, burst onto the scene as the clueless duo of rich party girls who starred on The Simple Life a reality series that forced the socialites to do menial, low-paying jobs, highlighting their detachment from the real world. I don't what know. is Walmart? Because, like, they sell wall stuff? Ironically enough, both women would soon find themselves serving prison sentences for car-related crimes. In 2007, Hilton was caught speeding and driving with a suspended license and sentenced to 45 days in jail. That same year, Richie was busted for driving under the influence and slapped with a four-day sentence, of which she only served 82 minutes. He's so sweet. He's sweet. He's cute. <laughs> we should have a threesome with him. <laughs> Number 9. Bobby Brown This singer was a controversial figure long before he got his own reality TV series. Being Bobby Brown was meant to showcase the daily life of Brown and his then-wife Whitney Houston. It received high ratings but poor reviews, and when Houston didn't sign on for a second season, the show was ultimately cancelled. Brown had a long history of personal drama and run-ins with the law, but even by his standards, it was a particularly rough patch. Between 2003 and 2006, he was arrested a number of times for DUI-related offenses and missed child support payments. Of course, his legal problems didn't end there. Number 8. Khloe Kardashian Today I'm going to jail, and I just want to get it over with and never have to worry about it again. As far as reality TV stars go, Khloe Kardashian is up there with the best of them. It's Mom, suck my f as a key component of the hit series Keeping Up with the Kardashians, as well as its subsequent spin-offs, Courtney and Chloe Take Miami and Chloe and Lamar, the middle Kardashian sister is the epitome of famous for being famous. Give me a number. Bye, mom. That is so just outrageous. That's your typical mom. What a horbet. In 2008, however, she found herself staring down the barrel of an unglamorous 30-day prison sentence after having broken the terms of her probation for a 2007 DUI. In a familiar twist, Kardashian would only serve under three hours behind bars due to overcrowding in prison. Kim, would you stop taking pictures of yourself? Your sister's going to jail. <laughs> Kim, oh, we need the effect of everyone on what we're doing, right? While Chloe's gone. Here, Kim, this one. Number 7. Richard Hatch Who could forget the antics of Richard Hatch from the first season of Survivor? The Rhode Island native had a penchant for walking around in the nude and goading fellow contestants into verbal battles. Watch Susie perk up. She just gets a little protein and she's back in the race. He played the game so aggressively, in fact, that he's been featured on a number of nastiest TV villain lists. And yet, Hatch managed to win season one, taking home a $1 million payday in the process. Unfortunately, he never paid taxes on said prize. He was later convicted of tax evasion and served 51 months in prison. Let that be a lesson to all reality TV winners. Just because you won the money doesn't mean there aren't strings attached. This is the nightmare people think it might be a make up, made up. Wouldn't happen to you, it happened to me. Number six, Abby Lee Miller. I am the coach. Your mother doesn't know what to do. If she did, she wouldn't bring you here. This Pennsylvania dance instructor shot to fame in 2011 as the chief personality on the reality television series Dance Moms. The show follows Miller as she attempts to teach aspiring young dancers the tricks of the trade while simultaneously dealing with their often overzealous mothers. Winning is everything to us. Maddie has won everything that she's done in the last year. 
Everything was going great until 2015, when it was revealed that Miller had been hiding parts of her income from the IRS. This led to a 2017 conviction on charges of bankruptcy fraud, as well as the concealment of bankruptcy assets. For this, Miller was sentenced to one year and one day in jail. Too bad she couldn't dance her way out of that one. You were not trying to hide no, that. Not intentionally, no. I, I, and I, and I wasn't ever trying to hurt anyone. Number five, Amber Portwood. It's Amber, remember me? I didn't mean to get pregnant instead of finishing high school, it just happened. Portwood made a name for herself on the reality TV series 16 and Pregnant and Teen Mom. The latter of the two shows focuses on a group of young women as they struggle to balance their newfound motherhood with their personal and professional lives. Being a teen mom is hard. I know I want out too. I'm in here all the time too. Portwood found herself in hot water after she physically abused her child's father, Gary, during an episode of the show. After this episode of Teen Mom a year ago, she was arrested and pled guilty to domestic violence charges. She lost custody of her daughter, Leah. After a broad investigation, the reality TV star was charged with domestic violence and drug possession, but managed to avoid prison by agreeing to check into a rehab facility. Unfortunately, this didn't last, and Portwood was sentenced to five years in prison, but was released early due to good behavior. I'm not just going to sit. I'm going to do substance abuse classes. I'm going to get my GED. Number four, Apollo Nita. As the husband to Phaedra Parks, a longtime cast member of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Apollo Nita often clashed with his wife on screen. I guess you wouldn't know because you don't wake up. That's because you hoard him on the other side of you. You smothered the cry. I can't hear it. Yeah, right. Is that what I do? Well, that appears to be the least of their troubles now. In 2014, Nita was sentenced to eight years in prison after it was discovered that he stole millions of dollars from more than 50 different people over a four-year period. We arrived at the penitentiary. I'm about to go asunder. Thank you for the support and prayer. The scam worked by stealing people's identities and then purchasing loans under their names. This is nothing new for Nita, as he previously served a six-year prison sentence from 2003 to 2009 for stealing cars. Number three, Renee Alway. Renee, I'm 20 and I'm from Maui. Talk about a wasted potential. Renee Alway began her modeling career at the tender age of 13. She appeared in numerous publications over the years and dramatically increased her exposure when she made it all the way to the final three on America's Next Top Model, Cycle 8. But nobody could have predicted what would happen next. The blonde, blue-eyed Alway was arrested in 2013 after a standoff with California police officers. I can't even remember what was happening then. That's how bad it was. I have bits and pieces of broken, broken memory about it. The former model and actress was sentenced to 12 years in prison on multiple accounts of burglary, one count of vehicle theft, as well as illegal firearm possession. Once you're on that downward spiral, it's, it's nearly impossible to stop. Number two, Teresa Judice. People make fun of Jersey Girls, but I think they're just jealous. Judice rose to fame as one of the original members of the reality TV series The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Since 2009, the Italian-American author, entrepreneur, and television personality has written multiple books and appeared on other reality TV shows such as Celebrity Apprentice. Our weakest player is Teresa. Whoa, 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 what have we here? However, on October 2, 2014, Teresa and her husband Joe were convicted of 41 counts of fraud. Over the course of 10 years, the couple had committed bank, mail, and wire fraud to the tune of over $5 million. When Teresa got home, Joe left to begin his 41-month sentence for fraud. Teresa was sentenced to 15 months in prison, while her husband got 41. Upon her release after 11 months served, Teresa quickly returned to the show that made her famous. Melania is the most sensitive, and she is the closest to Joe. She wants to go check on a dog. Want to take Gino with you? It's only been a day, but I could already see how hard this is on Melania. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I don't blame the entertainment industry for my addictions. A lot of people like have misworded what I've said. I do not blame that. I said it, it adds fuel to the fire. I ended up being sent to jail twice before being put into a court-ordered rehab facility, where after years of drug use, I finally obtained sobriety. 
Number one, Will Hayden. Sons of Gunstar arrested. William Hayden's in jail on child sex charges. Disturbing doesn't even scratch the surface when discussing the crimes of this former reality TV star. For five seasons, Will Hayden was a primary subject on the Discovery Channel series Sons of Guns, a show centered on a firearms manufacturer based out of Louisiana. Looks like fun, doesn't it? Well, you better believe it is. Hayden, along with his daughter Stephanie, managed the shop and served as the show's main characters. However, in 2017, Hayden was convicted of raping two girls, including a 12-year-old Stephanie years prior. Suffice to say, the show was immediately cancelled. Due to the nature of his crimes, Hayden was sentenced to life behind bars without possibility of parole. I am in the public eye. There are little girls all over this world, and I need them to know that there is a way that you can tell someone and they will help you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.